Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm in Diamond City because I'm about to go read a detective case. I suppose what I should say is I'm going to read a case file, but eh, you know what I mean, right? Right. Let's check out the Marty Bullfinch case file. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually inside, passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come Nothing on, Nick. Hmm. Think of a good time. Sounds like an interesting guy. I'm not sure how I missed that one before when I was in here. Let's go outside and check this case out. Okay, popping Marty's tape in. Fuck it, a vault, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery. I thought it might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? It turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you wanna get the team back together, you let me know. All right, so we have a case, the Gilded Grasshopper. Let's go ahead and get that one started. We're supposed to find the Gilded Grasshopper, which means I'm gonna do a little climbing, I think. Now, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head how I'm supposed to get up there, because I haven't run around Diamond City too much. I don't know why we let Valentine Looks like that's going to be up in, one or two I don't know, is that up in the mayor's area? sure does look like it, doesn't it? Or maybe I'm supposed to go out. Ha! I'm supposed to go out. Gotta admit, I kind of missed what he was saying when uh, he mentioned where I was going. <laughs> I think I was busy flapping my gums at the time he was talking about it. So you got one of those fancy bolts. Well, let's just take a look at the map here and see where we're headed. All the way out there, so I'm going to go ahead and blast over to Good Neighbor, and I'll join you in a moment. Oh. Oh, good. Let's see. Look at that. Ooh, an enraging gamma gun. Okay. I'll take that. Bad dog. And I'll take the meat. Okay, now I can go ahead and fast travel over there. Making my way through this lovely destroyed town. Actually had quite a few fights already. Oh, you look like you would be a super mutant. Um, This one will do more damage. So let's switch to that one. There we go. Three times damage is a wonderful thing from stealth. It's probably massively overpowered, but, uh, eh, you know, works pretty well. Bad dog. That'll be handy. That'll be a little bit of a radiation reduction for me. That's the building I'm going into, so I am trying to get rid of everyone around here. Oh, we got someone over here. Hello. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Impact. You would be a tough guy. And that hurt. So let's stim pack up again. And again. Guess I'll go ahead and take that meat. Switch to a weapon that'll fire a little faster here. go. You don't like that, so you are walking away. Aha! Take that, good sir. I don't know if super mutants are sirs or good for that matter, but it's too late. I already called him a good sir. Um, you. Do you have anything interesting? Okay. I suppose this guy has a missile launcher that might be worth grabbing just for kicks. Those are kind of fun. Oh! Let's go ahead and switch over to you. 
Get rid of you. Uh-oh. You would be bad news. Run! Oh, Piper, look at you. Aren't you a champ? <laughs> I will take that stuff because nuclear material is awesome. It's quite helpful, actually. Hmm. This is kind of a cool part of town. Not gonna lie. Big in this. I'll take that for now. Yeah, there's all sorts of junk and stuff around here I could use. I wanted to grab... Wow. It is, uh... Quite difficult for my poor computer to keep up with this area, apparently. There's a lot going on up here. Including a lot of ammunition, which I appreciate, so I'll take all that stuff. Let's go ahead and run inside and find Mantis. Is that a Mantis? Grasshopper. Grasshopper. A noise? Seeing as we are now indoors. Switch to my trusty shotgun. That's why. And that would also be why. Yes, they do always look mad. Oh, you are toast, good sir. Uh, there are going to be a lot of super mutants in here, aren't there? It's cool. They'll have some good stuff. I might have to just goof around with some missiles in here, just for kicks. We'll see. Nothing like a missile launcher in close range. I haven't even modified one really yet. Probably should, just because it would be a lot of fun to have a, a properly powerful missile launcher, but just haven't quite done that yet. Ooh, coffee cups. Take those. Ooh, hot plates and a coffee pot. Sure, why not? I'm going to take that junk. Never mind me. Bottle caps, alarm clock would probably be worth taking. I'm going to try and hold off on collecting all the junk I can possibly collect for the moment. We'll revisit that, or I will revisit that on my own time. I'll take that just because I'm right here. Why not? Elevator. Going to need to go upstairs, I'm sure. Did say it was up top. Hello. Oh. Sometimes I open doors before I mean to. Okay, so I've kind of already been through this area. Is there anything over here? Didn't really look in this corner. Looking just for gear, that sort of thing. Creepy monkey. Yeah, I'll come back on my own time through all of this stuff. Oh, uh-oh. That could have been bad. Let's go ahead and run up this way. I want to approach from the side. Hi. There are a lot of... Securitrons in here. I'm tempted to let them out just because. Ooh. Ah, I've actually been to the racetrack. I didn't go in, but I have been there. That's interesting. I'm tempted to at least unleash all the Securitrons just because. That'd be a good way to get some additional materials if I need them, but uh, I'll worry about that on my own. For now, let's do this the old-fashioned way, using a shotgun. Oops. That would be me setting off a trap. All right, whatever. That would be them, or me. I'm not sure which. There's probably a grenade up here, too, huh? I don't know where that trap was connected to. Not sure. Okay. That door. Hmm. Saying I want to go out that door to get to Grasshopper, but that goes outside. That seems unlikely. Let's go ahead and clear this place first.
Oh, hi, dog. That's why I like my shotgun. One quick pull of the trigger and many things are toast. You have an assault rifle. Hi, you are dead. You almost snuck up on me. And there was a guy right over here. Oh, aha, yes, here. Where are you? Oh, where'd you go? Oops. Looks like I shot the picture down. Did I? I sure did. Huh. Who knew? That's pretty cool. Meat bags. Those are good stuff. Sometimes. These are all empty. That's kind of lame. Oh man, I am running low on shotgun ammo. That's not a good thing. I guess I need to switch to a different weapon. Bummer. Go ahead and disarm that. we go. Can get rid of the hound. Oh, you're going to be difficult with the 10 millimeter, aren't you? Let's go ahead and reload that guy. Why not? Ah, that's bad. And let's go ahead and do that one again. Why not? Switch to this guy. This one does good damage. I guess I really do need to have another a close and personal weapon. Maybe I will take the time to set up a, an assault rifle, kind of like that guy has there. Not sure just yet. Sounds like there are a couple more guys downstairs. Not going to worry about them for the moment. Um, sure, I'll go ahead and take that gun just because it might be helpful. Mines. I'm going to go upstairs because to me that seems like where I should be going and looks like the game is even telling me that too. There's the grasshopper and there's a mutant. Hi. I can get rid of you. Wouldn't be surprised if another one pops out actually. Oh, I am getting shot from downstairs, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Well, there's Marty Bullfinch. So we found him. Aw, oh, look at this hat. It's been battered. That's a shame. Ah, oh, yeah, I can use more shotgun rounds, please. Many, many shotgun rounds. Give me all the shotgun shells you can. And wonder glue. <laughs> Just because. Excellent. Huh. Okay. Read food for the grasshopper. Alright, we could do that. Let me find a corner that doesn't totally drag down the frames here. Maybe something like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Miscellaneous food. For the grasshopper. Let's read that. Shem Drown made it easy. May 25th, 1742. Wow. To my brethren and fellow grasshoppers, fell in ye year 1753-1755. November 13th, early in ye morning, by a great earthquake by my old master above. Again, like to have met with utter ruin by fire, by hopping timely from my public station, came of the broken bones and much bruised. Cured and fixed. Good. Old Master Son Thomas Drown. June 28th, 1768. And though I will promise to discharge my office, yet I shall vary as ye wind. On the banks of the Charles, where forever rests Master Shem, there one can find a life's worth. So it sounds like we need to go find Shem Drown's grave. So if you were Shem Drown, where would you be on the map? Well, there it is. Now it appeared wasn't actually appearing for me before. I don't understand that. Well, let me run downstairs and we'll go find it. Okay, coming through town here. This is where Shem's grave is said to be according to the lovely map marker. So let's see what he has over here. Oh, he has a feral ghoul. I don't want a feral ghoul. I already have enough of those. Get rid of you. Sounds like there's a Securitron running around. 
I like shooting their legs off. What can I say? I find it funny. You can go ahead and have that, Mr. Feral Ghoul. Meanwhile, I'm going to shoot your leg off. Because I'm a jerk. Alrighty, put the gun away. I'll take the lighter, why not? Okay, here's the grave. We're going to dig it up. There we go. That is the completion of the Gilded Grasshopper, which is, of course, the Marty Bullfinch file. Look at that. So, got a copper bar, silver bar, copper bar, a copper bar. Fear not, though Devil's Iron makes this blade. Only he who wields can make it wicked. Is there anything else? So, gold bar. Let's go and take his sword. Targets take radiation damage. Ooh, that sounds fun. Look at that. 22 standard damage, 9 radiation damage. That's not too bad. Oh, we can take his skull too. Oh, why, why, why do we do that? We do that because why not? And that right there is a wrap. So I will catch you in another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.